everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we are going to do an acrylic pour painting on an 8x10 canvas. This will be a bottle bottom pour, so all that is is just cut the bottom off of a plastic bottle and pour over it, make some pretty cool designs. I'm using a leftover a cup that I just had used in the past, but there, the paint in there is dry so it won't cause any, any harm there. The colors we're using here today, uh, this is the Blue by Soho Urban Artist. This is Sap Green and Process Black by Daler Ronely, Rony, however you say it. I wrote it on these bottles and in each bottle I think I wrote it, spelt it differently, so I don't exactly know how, how you say that one. Uh, this is Artist Loft Deep Magenta, and then I've got a little bit of this Deco Art Set Enamel Seaside Blue left. So I think this will all look really cool. To help flow, we are going to use just some plain flow trawl. I'm not going to use any more of that black though because we don't want it to be too dark. I'm going to layer these in here, almost done. We're going to put a little bit more of the magenta and then that will be it. I'm going to pour a little bit of this flow trawl on the canvas and then I'm also going to pour a little bit on the bottle bottom. Okay, we'll call that good. Put that on there. And then get that started. Here we go. I'm going to pour kind of in the middle, but kind of in a tree ring fashion, but it'll all go down the sides. And we'll put a little bit of black in there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Got to get to the bottom. It's like it's looking a lot more darker than I anticipated it looking. <laughs> it will turn out just fine. This one looks really cool. The flow troll. You can see where <laughs> all the different lines are. I'm going to hold this in the middle while I tilt it just a little. Nope, nope, it doesn't like that. So we're going to go ahead and pull this off. <laughs> so gracefully. <laughs> Hmm. I'm going to grab a syringe and pull some of this out, mainly just to get some of the flow trawl because, and I also like it when all the little petals kind of come together, because this there's no um, base coat on this canvas, so if there's any spots where the where paint doesn't go and it's just the flow trawl, you're just going to see bare white canvas. So I'm going to go into it just a little bit more. And when we do our close up, I'll show you what I did with that. Probably going to make a pretty cool skin here. I definitely like the first go around <laughs> better, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, now we're just going to tilt this carefully, try to maintain our shape. really like these colors together. I just kind of randomly picked some. I started with the blue and then just went from there. There's quite a bit of paint on the canvas. to do next. I think I'm going to run it off this way because it's probably the least favorite side. 
and because we can't have that much paint on the canvas. If we do, we'd be really sad when it dried and all cracked. All right, better, better. I am liking it still, even though we lost our flower pattern. That's completely all on me for too much paint. I'm just gonna run it a little bit this way. I even use a tiny cup. I need to mark them. All right. We are getting there. I like it. All right. I am happy with that. Really happy with that, actually. Let me torch it and bring you down for a close up. All right, here we are for the close up. Start in the lower right hand corner. We've got the black and the pink, well, really just all of the colors, <laughs> just in these like beautiful ribbons. Going across the top here down the left hand side and then this is kind of I don't know I like the blue it kind of reminds me of like water and then like some little like islands or something it's almost like river river and like rock beds <laughs> like in between all the little bodies of water that's what I see in it what do you guys see in it and do you see something different depending on which direction it's turned I'm not sure and then here's the skin I made from the paint that I removed. So I will let this dry here and see what comes of it. The white is all the float draw, so we'll have to wait and see what colors are kind of underneath there hidden. And then sometimes you can even peel this off. So, And then I'll make a skin with the leftover paint as well. So here is the final piece. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share and do it makes you happy.